regenerating night cream. This is a good night cream. Um, I would buy this one again. This was in one of my projects. These are the Avon Arabian Glue Bronzing Pearls. I was actually looking on Avon's site. You can actually still get these. Um, but I've had these for a ridiculously long time. I actually ended up crushing up the pearls and then putting it into the thing. And um, yeah, it's just the colour is not great for me because I'm so pale. And it is so, so old. It's only supposed to be open for 24 months. It's been open for considerably longer than that. Because um, I haven't bought Avon in more than five years. So this has to be more than five years old. So it is going. Yes, I know it's kind of gross, but it's a powder. Oops. Uh, if you bought the, like, the Guerlain one, one of the like, really expensive ones, you still had some left after five years. You probably would throw it out unless there was something wrong with it. For the price that you pay for it. Uh, the... Uh, Urban Skin Care Co. Infused Body Balm, which was in one of my projects. It's fine. I wouldn't buy it. The Aveen Extremely Gentle Cleanser Lotion. It was fine. Nothing special. Would not buy. The Manicure Cuticle Therapy. This is just a cuticle oil. It's not bad, it's not great. Um, I now just make my own cuticle oil using jojoba oil and um, sometimes other oils. The Bioderma Micellar, this was like just a sample from one of my, uh, from my subscription box. I wouldn't, I've actually bought a whole bottle of this and I really didn't end up liking it that much. I prefer the Garnier one, so I would not buy this one. The e.l.f. lip exfoliator, this is the original one, um, I found it a little bit too, I, I didn't really like it that much. I have actually since bought the mint one, I think, I might have bought the strawberry one, but I have bought one of the other ones, I haven't started using it, but I have bought it. Um, this face primer was in one of my projects, this is the one that is like Kmart branded. This is not a very good one, and I didn't like the smell of it. It smells like Elmer's glue. Um, I did use quite, yeah, I used a bit of it. But, um, yeah, I decluttered that one. Um, the, uh, which one is it? Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Perfume Sample. I actually quite liked this. I, If I got more of it, I wouldn't be complaining. I have a couple of Lacura serum samples. One's the Lift Serum and one is the Moisture Serum. I'm nearly through using all of these. I've had like 24 or something of these different serum samples from last year's Advent Calendar for Christmas. Um, yeah, so I probably wouldn't buy the serums themselves, but as samples, they're fine. Uh, this... Tarina Tarantino eyeshadow thing was in a project. It's the one in purple velvet. It's like you've got this little it's like product in there. It's a little spongy applicator thing. This is actually broken. It does not close anymore. Um, so I'm getting rid of that one. The Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. I hate this stuff. I used it like for maybe a month and I just couldn't stand it anymore. Um, so it's still got heaps of product in it, but did nothing for me, did not like. So it is gone, would not buy that one again. Um, now, virtually everything else in here is a D, oh, I found another, another serum sample, it's another moisture serum sample. It's a Mary Kay lipstick sample, I've used some of it, but only a little bit, it's been open for ages, um, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, I have this lip balm. This is from Glamouflage. This is the Mellow May Lip Balm. Basically smells like chocolate, but my lips started stinging um, when I was using it, which is not something that used to happen when I was using it. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. It's been open for more than 12 months. So. Um, the eye primer from Designer Brands, I used this like solidly for probably six months or more. 
it's not great, it's not terrible, it's, I don't even think it does anything in particular, um, but I'm basically over this, so it is going. I have also from designer brands, I have two of the chubby lipsticks that I am decluttering. I don't like either one of these, the lid's broken on this one, they're not my favourite, I have lots of lip products so these ones are going I'm not passing these on to anybody else all of this stuff has been open for at least 12 months probably in most cases and I'm I'm not going to risk anybody else by passing them on to anybody I'm just going to get rid of them I have three of the LA Colors Mood Instinctive Lip Gloss these are the kind of ones that sort of are slightly different each one and they like kind of change color a little bit um, I have In The Mood Mystique and Emotional, they're all going, had them for ages, don't really use them. Um, these two Vinyl Max um, lip glosses from Rimmel, I had already decluttered one of these from one of my projects, um, I'm now decluttering the other two that I have, I don't like the way these feel, they have something in them that's like a lip plumper and I just I find them uncomfortable and they're very sticky too um, particularly on the outside of the packaging so these ones are going I have two more of these LA Colors mascaras I have the Bold Lash Gold one um, which is just it's basically dried out and crusty on the end and I have a navy one which is basically exactly the same, it's just got all dried out and crusty. So they're both going. I have two lipsticks from Clean Colour. One of these was in a project, I believe it's this top one here, which is Sealed Secret. I have another one in Ocean Streak. I don't like the smell of these, I don't like the texture of these, I don't like how they feel on my lips. Um, so they're both going. I have a lip crayon from uh, Nika K. Not at all. I, I don't like this one. It's it's a really bright red and it's very emollient, so it basically just goes everywhere. I have this lipstick from Fifth Avenue, which is a Kmart brand. This is in Covet. Again, it's it's super uh, wet. Um, it just goes everywhere. It even looks gross in the thing. Uh, and as soon as you touch it, it like bends and it goes everywhere. And I have more than enough lip products not to need to worry about something like that. I have from a brand called Mona Lisa, which I, you can't even get anymore that I'm aware of. This is a lipstick and lip gloss. It's got lip gloss on this end. It's got a lipstick on this end that matches it. It's in this super duper bright pink. I actually still, I think, have the lip liner, which is still going fine. Um, and I don't mind the lip liner, but these... Not so much. I have this lip lacquer from Model Co. This is super duper sticky. It is separating in the tube. It's the the stringy. Smells great, but I. Um, From BYS, I have this lip gloss and lipstick duo. Again, it's got lip gloss on this and lipstick on that end. Um, a lot of the problem with this is it's just too light. It's like a, almost no colour. This is in um, nearly nude. There's almost no colour to it. Um, yeah. So that one's gone. From LA Colors, there's this chunky lip crayon. Again, this is bright red. It is super, you can, it's all mushed in the end there. It's just such a mess and I'm not gonna battle with that. Um, I have these two eyeliners from Beauty People. You can actually still buy these. Um, these are gel eyeliner pencils. The problem with these, um, uh, I have one in Diamond Natural Berry and one in Diamond Burgundy. I got these from Mimi Boxes when they used to deliver to Australia. Um, these have completely dried out. Like, like 
completely dried out, can't, can't use them at all. Um, yeah, so <laughs> they're both going. I have this um, Rimmel Scandalize in green, which I would really like to be able to use, but it too has dried out to the point that I can... And it doesn't, it does the same thing the other one does where it doesn't even draw on me properly. Um, I have three glitter gloss, uh, sorry, three glitter eyeliners. I have this e.l.f. one, basically doesn't really pick up properly anymore. I have this one from NYX, which is the uh, lavender one. It doesn't, it's all, <laughs> it's all stuck to that side of the tube. And this one from LA Colors, which is in some green color, a uh, peacock, and it's basically done the same thing, where it's all stuck on this side, and it's, it's yeah, it's not moving. And I have the eyeliner from NYX, the liquid eyeliner. This is in navy, I believe, electric blue. It's all dried up and crusty as well, so it's going. And last but not least is this lipstick from a company called Magnolia Makeup. You can actually buy these still. Um, you can even buy this colour still. This is Matador. This is supposed to be a matte lip colour. Um, I have tried shaking this and everything. It actually comes out like a stain and it never dries. Never dries. It's got this in a lip monthly ages and ages ago and I didn't like it when I first got it but I've kept it for probably 18 months uh, yeah so this one is going and that is everything that's in my empties at the moment of course I will be doing another empties fairly shortly but that will be the last one for the year currently with everything that I have remembered to write down and itemize and get a, some kind of price for my samples I all my samples except the liqueur ones. The liqueur ones I price at one dollar each because that's approximately how much they would have cost. Um, all the other ones, the ones I get from my Bella box, I uh, price at three dollars each because that's basically how much value each item in the box has. That is not the retail value of them. Um, things I've bought myself, I do the retail value of, as in the replacement value of. So, that, uh, obviously, if I can find it, if I can't find it, then I just kind of give it a ballpark figure for something that is similar from the same brand. So, all up so far, I have uh, used or decluttered $698.71 for 2017. I think I was a bit above that last year. Hang on, I can actually go back and check. Uh, at... The end of around about the same time last year, I was at 940. So I haven't probably used up as much stuff this year, um, but I have like value-wise, but I've probably used up more products really, or I have used a lot of products and not necessarily finished a lot of products, so they're kind of still in rotation. Um, yeah, so, but I'm still pretty happy with that so far, and I don't think I've spent that much this year on makeup, probably on nail polish, but not on makeup. Um, uh, yeah, so that is it for this empties. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you want to get notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like empties videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!